I don't care if a man doesn't like the way we fight. I don't care if they think we lack the same abilities as the men. I don't care if they think we are never going to be as skillful as the men. I don't care about their personal opinion. The facts are is that we go to the gym, we train just as many hours as the men, we spar just as hard as the men, we work out just as consistent as they do, we deserve the same opportunities as they do, regardless of what anyone's personal opinion is. When I used to imagine myself in the future as a boxer, I used to picture De La Hoya or back when Fernando Vargas was fighting and I used to watch him on TV. It never even crossed my mind that where are the women? Why aren't the women on these major television networks? And it never crossed my mind. I was just, I was young. It's very, very hard. <laughs> it's hard emotionally, physically. In all aspects, it's hard. It's hard to balance life, personal life, friends, family, my sport, my job, and going back to school. It's hard to balance everything because it's living a normal life, but also dedicating yourself to something very, very serious and something that you have to de put a lot of work into. And if you don't, then you can really, really get hurt. Kalisha of Wild Wild West is the reigning women's WBO bantamweight world champion. The 24-year-old is one of boxing's most exciting female fighters. After a successful career as an amateur, where she won numerous national titles, Kalisha turned pro in 2006. He's too ugly to be coach. Four years later, she was world champion. Today, the 5-foot-5-inch five five fighter's record stands at 15 wins, three draws, and just one defeat. Clans World Sport travelled to Moreno Valley in California to find out more about her. Although Kalisha has successfully defended her title three times, she still struggles for recognition in her homeland. Such is the nature of the women's game. Kalisha trains in the knowledge that she could be called to fight at a moment's notice. We're out seeking fights on our own. We're out telling promoters, hey, we'll sell this many tickets and, and we'll be able to, to fill this many seats if you put us on, our, on your card for this budget and it will only cost you this much. So we try to make it um, make, make it make sense budget wise because in the end that's what the promoters are all about are making ends meet or making profit. And they're not really interested in promoting women out here. Growing up, Kalisha's inspiration was her father Juan, himself a former professional fighter, who's now her coach. I played with Kalisha, not like a normal father played play with his daughter. I played with her like she was a little pit bull. You know, I was always, you know, grabbing her in the face. And, <clears throat> come here, come here, come here. And she's, yeah, yeah. She always showed me stubbornness. So I, <clears throat> always trying to make a pit bull out of her. And, you know, so she kind of was a little tomboyish. You know, she had her bro older brother, Marco, who she would, you know, go out playing with him and his buddies all the time. And, and, and I'd get the report back that she'd have beat up one of his friends, you know, in the garage. She's, she's putting hands on the friend. You know, they play boxing and they, you know, they want to play rough and, and Kalisha's making them cry. It was just in her blood to fight. We really have a brother-sister relationship. <laughs> and, and I keep telling him, it's because you had me when you were young, Dad. <laughs> so I grew up like I was your sister. And it probably is true, but regardless, we have a lot in common. Our personalities are a lot alike to where we do bump heads like brother and sister sometimes because we're just so stubborn. But at the same time, we just have so much in common that he's like my best friend. I like to get a sweat when I do this. When I do these. I don't sweat, he starts yelling at me. Uh-huh. There ain't an ounce of sweat on your body. You're not working out hard enough. And I am, but it's just my body. <laughs> She's made of grease, solid grease. You know, grease you, you, you put on the axles of the car, the vehicle. Felicia is a unique human being made of grease. <laughs> Not sweat. Yeah. It ain't sweat. You know, it's grease. She knows it's grease. It won't come out the pores. It's like, oh, she can be training like, oh, training like a madman. Nothing come out. Nothing come out. <laughs> Nothing come out. And then, then when it do come out, I go. 
<laughs> Ew. There's a drop. There's a drop of spoo. There's a drop of sweat. Hit that grease factory. <laughs> Working tirelessly to make a name for herself in a sport that receives little national attention means that to fund her dream, Kalisha has had to source another avenue of income. To work. As well as training seven days a week, Kalisha also works full-time six days a week as a host in the emergency room at Loma Linda University Hospital. In her job, she's regularly surrounded by traumatic incidents. It changes the way I look at everything that I that I do. Every boxing, living, driving, family, everything. It changes the way I see people, the way I see friends. There's no way that a punch can make my hand feel like it's being sawed off. So I actually look at boxing and I'm like, there ain't no pain that I can't take. There would be days where I would be really busy at work and I'd be on my feet all day running around. And even emotionally, it stresses you out at work. And then right afterwards, it was almost as if, instead of being, oh, I can't wait till I get off work, it was more like, oh man, I gotta get off work in two hours, and then I gotta go jog another mile, uh, six miles, and then I gotta go, go do the speed bag or drills, or, or man, right when I get off, I gotta drive all the way to Chino and spar 10 rounds today. Or, you know, it, it was like, it, there was nothing I ever looked forward to than the end of the day when I'd lay in my bed. That was all I really looked forward to. When she does have time off, one of Kalisha's favorite hobbies is fishing. When Transworld Sport was in town, we accompanied Kalisha and her family to a local lake. <laughs> when you fish, you have to have patience. It's probably the only thing that I actually have patience for. We, we do compete in fishing, and you know, she gonna say that she's the winner in fishing, but <laughs> I don't think so. Pops is the king fisherman. I go back with one fish every time. It's a race. I can't waste time talking to him because it's a race. It's always a race to see who catches the most, who catches the first one, who catches the biggest one. That's a cheap pole. He's not going to help me. He's not going to tell me what they're biting. He's not going to tell me any tips that he heard from the from the bait shop because that's how he is. He's just he's like my biggest competitor. And in the end, I end up networking and talking to my neighbors and finding out what they're really biting. So I'm not worried. Yeah, I did. I set that up right there. <laughs> I've always had something for the waters and oceans and, and being near the water because it reminds me of how small I actually am. <laughs> Alicia has three younger Hurry. sisters, Javona, Jasmine, and Jayla. That's up the whole picture. Deep sea fishing, he goes and, and he, he he casts, and every, he has the whole boat looking at him because he goes, oh, I got one, I got a monster, I got a monster, <laughs> hey, I got a monster. Hey, and then it, it reels it in and boop, no baby. Tell, and tell, everybody's like, all he got was a baby fish. Uh, uh, tell him about the fish you caught with your mouth up in the mountains. Remember? The, the, I did <laughs> not catch a fish with my mouth. She caught it with her mouth. It she, was with she, my two hands. <laughs> no, nah, that was with her mouth. She said, like, hey, in the water, came out with the fish. <laughs> she attacked the fish with her As Kalisha attempts to raise her profile, quality time with her family is becoming a rarity. With an ambition to help improve the image of women's boxing in the States, she draws inspiration from her idol. Muhammad Ali, growing up, that was someone who I always looked up to. When I was in junior high, I had to do a book report on someone who inspires me. So I went to the library, and that was kind of when I first learned about Ali, and I rented out one of his autobiographies. And then I learned all about his charisma and his attitude and his personality and how no matter what anyone would do, he always stood by what he believed in. I was a 
big fan of Ali. And, you know, I used to study Ali. I was just amazed at his moves, you know? And him, he'd be in the ring, you know, and the one thing Ali used, used to get, get me was with this footwork, this, this Ali footwork. So, so that's what he used to do. He used to be bouncing around the ring, going back and forth and popping that jab. He'd whip that jab out on him, whipping it, whipping it out on, whipping it out while he's moving, going around the ring, talking to you, all, all on the cameras talking. And I was like, wow, this man is actually fighting and talking to his opponent. And he'd look him in the face and he said, ah, ah. Yeah. Ooh, I was amazed. I was like, damn, I can't believe this. This is, I have to either learn how to fight like Muhammad Ali, or, you know, or teach somebody to fight like Muhammad Ali. So, you know, that's why Kalisha, she got style when she boxed. I try to give her a little style, because that's what Ali had. Class, style, character, charisma. You know, he was just total package. Ali had that jab flicking it out. Kalisha steps into it, though, you know? Step into it. That's the, that's original right there. That's that's a that's a that's an improvement on the jab right there. He can slap you in the face like this and his hands feel like bricks, so he's boom, boom, constantly. Then he then he did the dumping on you with more combo. Boom, 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 boom. And knocking everybody out. I was never naturally good. I had to learn to be good. Yeah. Already a world champion noted for her own speed, power and charisma, Kalisha West is determined to continue her quest to be regarded as one of the greats of the women's game. The whole idea of women's boxing has been frustrating for me because it's nothing that I expected or looked into when I was little. It's nothing that my dad even expected. And even being number one, it's not, it's not how it should be for us. When I was a little girl, um, I, w I wanted to know a great female fighter when I first started boxing that I could look into and see what she did so I can get tips on what to do. So I went to the library and I tried to look for a book on a great female fighter and didn't find one. When I retire from boxing, I want little girls to be able to go to the library. And when they think of one of the greatest female fighters that ever lived, they think of Kalisha West. 